Hey guys, Sexy Gardener here. I'm alive. I'm doing well. I just got back from physical therapy. Um, most of you know I had knee surgery. I'm up and around when I shouldn't be, but hey, I have important things to do in the garden. Not too sexy today, but hey, I still want to do this experiment. So remember the experiment with the seeds? Some of you do, some of you don't. Uh, if you wanna see, just go to my profile. You can see uh, the past videos. Um, all the seeds that I put in the ground, uh, they've all sprouted already. And they're already getting new leaves. The melon, the one that we grew here ourselves, the cantaloupe that we ate, that popped up first, just like everyone predicted. Um, the sugar pumpkin sprouted, the, squ the butternut squash from uh, the one we ate, the watermelon has sprouted outside, the field pumpkin has not sprouted. That's the only thing that it has not. The fruit we have not put in the ground because it's too early. I'm just seeing if I can get them to germinate. But yeah, melon went first. So we're going to open these and see. Uh, if, if they're sprouting because those guys are sticking out of the ground already we're gonna see which technique works better so let's look at watermelon first this is our watermelon guy let's see what's happening here I want it to work look I got dirty hands Nothing. No sprouts. Wow. And my watermelon, same from the same package that's in the ground outside, sprouting away. He's already got one new leaf, a uh, real leaf, sorry. One real leaf going. So that food sowing directly in the ground is uh, beneficial in this type of uh, germination. I feel the same as even putting it in containers first. I feel like it stifles the growth. Now this is the sugar pumpkin outside. It's doing well. It has a giant uh, real leaf. And I think the second real leaf is out too. So let's see what's going on with this guy. If we have a sprout. Nothing. Nothing. And you know what? He sprouted in the ground within two days. So, and this has been over a week. Wait, wait, wait. When did we do it? July 13th. And it's the 22nd today. So, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Yes. See, go, yes. make sure you study your math, son. Nine days they've been in this package. So, nine days. I'll show you everything outside. So, within nine days. So far, nothing has sprouted, but these have sprouted outside. So, I don't find this to be uh, a good method. I did have them outside because I wanted them to acclimate to the weather out there so that they were in shock. But maybe some of these seeds needed to be in cooler temperatures, but I don't think so. I think the warmer the better, as long as you have moisture. And then we have field pumpkin. And all of these are, are, warm, are heat lovers, so. Okay, the field pumpkin, I'm pretty sure has nothing because it didn't sprout out there yet either. I think it might be too hot for a field pumpkin. I think they like cooler weather. Let's see what happens, it might be opposite. Nope, nothing. Nothing going on there, folks. I mean, some people help with a knife and crack them open and do it, but I mean, that's just silly. As you can see, it, they sprouted in within three days in my garden. Just throw it in the ground. We'll have plants in a week. This is just hard work and a headache. But hey, it was a fun experiment, right? Yeah, that's interesting. Next we'll do the little pots and we'll do the little cocoa pots. We'll do experiments with that and see what happens. Oh, here's the melon. I want to do that. 
This is the melon that we grew in our garden, our cantaloupe. I don't know if you saw it in our video, in my videos. I posted several of my little cantaloupe. He was stunted because I did. A, I had a lot of mistakes, but I learned from them. My fall crop is gonna be killer this time. Kick ass. Oh look, melon. So this is the melon we grew here, acclimated to this soil here, native to this soil now because we grew him here and harvested the seed. He sprouted first in the garden outside in the soil and now we have sprouties on Melon Guy. And he's ready to go in the ground. Um, but still and all, in the ground is better because I have a full plant, not just roots. So, and, but that's exciting. So the melon from our garden sprouted, the only one. That's, that's cool, that's cool. And what's next? What should we do next, Chase? Oops. Maybe the kiwi that you opened. Okay. So kiwi. I harvest this myself from a kiwi we ate. Let's see if we get any sprouting going on. I know fruit takes longer. But I didn't put it in soil. I should have done that to see what pops up faster. But, oh, I think I have a sprouty. Look, turn on a light. Can you turn on a light? Is this a sprout? Is it? It kind of looks like it. It is. It might. It's not. That one might. I need brighter light. Your camera can see it clearly. So, no, not yet on these guys. They need a few more days, I think. That I'm looks like something. Yeah, but I just am afraid that that's fruit. Maybe. Yeah. So. It looks like it's coming out of it. Him. Does that look like it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. Yeah, it looks like a sprout, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so don't mind my gardening fingernails. They're not very sexy. <laughs> I need my friend Lonnie to do my nails for me. So physical therapy today went good. I got to go three days a week. I'm going to get such a banging body again because they work you out hard. I'm excited for that. Didn't sound too I haven't been able exciting. to do a squat in a long time. So here's blueberry. I'm feeling like all these fruits are going to be the same. They might take a little longer. And that's okay because I need them to wait until winter anyway. They like it. No, nothing. Not yet. We keep trying, okay, sir? We keep trying. I'm zooming in because it focuses when I do that. I'm not wearing my hat, so it's just in company with us. I have to order a new one now. My son threw my sexy gardener hat in the pool, so. I have my just married one now that my friend Brooke bought me for my wedding in Hawaii. Okay. Shout out to Blackberry. Brooke. Blackberry. We just shout out Brooke, mom. Shout out to Brooke. <laughs> and my hibiscus out front is crazy. We should go show them that too. Okay, so this is Blackberry. Don't see much going on here either. It takes a little bit. But I do feel like if it was in the soil, wait, wait, it would have wait. popped up by now, don't you? Wait, wait. Fruit takes longer. Uncover it, uncover it. Why? I think I saw it. Fruit takes that longer. One? No. Fruit if you look on the camera, it looks like it. Fruit takes longer. But, um, I think it's too hot to put it in the soil outside. They're not going to pop up. Maybe. 
I think I just need to wait just a couple more weeks before I put them in the soil outside. But I'll keep them doing this until then, and once they sprouty, I'll put them in the soil outside. And they're going to be up on my shelf with all my fruit and berries. And I'm accidentally flipped the camera. I'm going to do grapes, huh? What you did to yourself? Yeah. No, or to me. Flipped it on me on accident. Why? You got my ear. <laughs> oh gosh. It's an accident. Every single person in this house is a horrible videographer. I need hey, to that's the first everyone. time I've messed up. I'm a professional. That's not true. I need to fire every one of you. You need to hire me because that, that's the first time it's happened. This is the lemon. Let's see what's going on here. I'm the best out of everyone else. Yeah, I guess. Let's see, lemon. <gasps> Lemon's doing it. Lemons are doing it. So, lemons are having a good time. They'll be sprouted up good in a few days, actually. Yay, lemon! Yay, lemon. You can't tell me I'm a terrible video. This lemon came from a lemon we ate. It's our background music. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted. I know, right? Sorry, my son has to learn. About monsters. Uh, he's obsessed with learning videos, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Here's Cherry. Last one, guys. I know this is excruciating. We'll speed it up for you guys. Is it exciting or is it excruciating? <sighs> this is Cherry. Oh, he's opening up. But he's gonna take forever. Okay, so <laughs> that's my seeds. I'm gonna take you outside to see the outside, uh, the ones that we put outside, so you can see how big they are. Because none of none of these compare to the ones outside, and we put them, planted them all. We did this all the same day. Everything was done the same day, except for the butternut butternut squash was a couple days earlier. So, um, yeah, let's go look. So all my hibiscus, they bloom every day. Um, it's beautiful. I love them. Just wanted to show you that. Come on, this way. Let me show you. I'm gonna follow you. Am I supposed to lead? Yeah. I cut back my bougainvillea because he was big and I want more flowers, so I cut him back. The tea is doing great, my hibiscus. Alright, let me show them. Go ahead. My radishes. Corn is They're doing crazy. Amazing! Look at the radishes. We have like 30 radishes if you look up close. And then where's my ladybug? Oh, there she is. She's under here, Chase. If you want to get her, so yeah. Can you get her? She's under here. See ya. Just a little bit. It's that black spot. If you get close, you can see her. It. She like lives there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone's been seeing the corn every day. It's over the wall now. That little thing is out is over. Why are you shaking it? I don't know. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> the children of the corn. My tomatoes, it's already happy. They're nice and green. There's that one big boy back there. Show them all the flowers. Look, we have so many flowers. Go up to the flowers, dude. Up. <laughs> flowers all up there. All up there. All up there. Everywhere. Tomatoes, it's good. And then here's the sugar pumpkin that wasn't doing anything in the bag. Put them in here the same day that he was put in the bag. So that shows you right there. 
transplanting stunts the growth so directly in the ground. Here's the melon. This is the field pumpkin. He, uh, I think, is too hot for him right now. Where he is needs he? to wait till it's colder. Where is he? He hasn't popped up. Oh. So here's the melon that we grew, our cantaloupe that we ate and harvested the seeds. He's doing great, kicking ass, taking names, taking soil. And here's the watermelon that we was in a package. He's out doing good. This is the butternut squash that we ate. He went in a little bit earlier than those guys. That's why he's bigger. Some of these leaves are white, as you can see. Um, what that means is in these hot conditions, plants have to use survival modes. And so all they do is keep the important leaves and they lack the energy in the leaves that are not going to be big and canopy and stuff to protect the fruit. So. Um, they naturally, the instinctively know how to do these things, so they just get, they drop the leaves that they don't need. A lot of people think that they're getting disease or mildew, but that's not the case. Um, it's just hot weather conditions, and that's their survival mode. So just let them grow, grow, grow. I got myself a little cucumber. I'm going for it again. And in between each plant, guys, over here, I put a sunflower that I harvested from my beautiful sunflowers. I put one here this time, and I put one here, and I put one here, I put one here, and then I put one at the end here, right here. And I, they're going to grow tall, taller than those. Those were stunted. They're gonna grow tall like my guy was right here. They're gonna grow tall, and they're gonna protect each other from the sun. So right now I have it in open sun. Everything's in open sun except for my tomatoes. They need a little bit because they get burnt up as you can see on the bottoms. But these love the direct sun. All of these love the direct sun, all of these. But they do need a little bit of a break. They get a break from the corn and the tomatoes in the morning. But in the evening, the, the sun hits this from about 9 a.m. It gets to the end about 10 a.m until about 5 30 when the sun goes down over there so we built this little flag here we put two sticks in the ground right here and then i took a burlap just so come see the holes in this burlap it's not much protection but it's just a, enough and we tied it to these poles and made like a flag so when the sun is setting around four it will cause you know some shade a little bit because that evening sun beats down so hard, that's what starts to burn the plants. So this is the only shade I have, that's the only shade I have, and then my sunflowers are gonna grow and protect them as well. And yeah, you gotta have full sun or your plants won't grow. I learned that a million times. You can watch my YouTube videos and see what happened, the plants that I, how I did it last time, I did this last time and I did it all wrong. So go watch my videos. I had it so, so wrong last time. This time we're gonna win. And my experiment of the, the seeds in the package, the seeds germinating in the bag and then the seeds in the ground. You guys, I proved it to you. So much better to sow in the ground. We'll do another, uh, if you guys have any ideas on which kind of experiments you want me to do. I love doing experiments. Let me know and I'll do it. And this was fun and we all learned something here. And keep your shit wet. If it dries, it dies. That's my motto. I'm gonna go lay down now. I am exhausted and my medicine is the only reason why I'm standing up right now. I am going to lay down. Thanks guys. Thanks.